please. We're going to uh, begin at 645. Uh, I'm Brian Connor. I'm chair of the Housing Authority. And um, it's so we have two separate meetings. We have a 645, and we're, we're going to hear on our Section 8 uh, from our administrator. And then at 7 o'clock, can you hear me back there? Good. And then at 7 o'clock, we have, uh, uh, we receive input or, or comments on the state annual plan that we then take back with us and Jack and the staff would, would adjust it accordingly. So, so um, two separate, so that means if we're done with the 645 too early, we have to sit and wait till seven o'clock. So, because we posted them as two separate times. No big deal though. We can, we can have fun telling jokes or something like that. But, uh, so, uh, first of all, call the order. So, uh, commissioners, Agar? Here. Nick? Here. Uh, Joanne? Here. Fiorella? Here. So we're all here. We're going to reverse this. We're going to have Patty Joyner, who is uh, Section 8 Administrator, present first, and then we'll uh, receive some public participation. Is this is basically an addendum to our five-year plan. Our five-year plan starts um, on, started on the 2020. So this is the first year in. And we have to have the goals and objectives. Any changes that we may have during the interim, um, we need to have it voted on. And the annual goals and objectives have been edited to reflect those that were updated and voted upon during the development of the fiscal year 20-24 five-year plan. In addition, we have provided a report on on the progress AHA has made in meeting the goals and objectives described in the previous five-year plan. We really haven't had a whole lot of changes this year. Um, so we are just, we have a goals and objectives, and this I believe is on the website, and um, we are still abiding by this and reaching towards our goal as the same as last year. Board uh, commissioners, anybody have any comments on that? You all received it. Pretty, yeah, pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Thank you. Uh, any uh, open to the public? Anybody have any questions or comments on the goals and objectives? Yeah, I Just, have this proposition. Oh, oh, you great. want to read it with microphone? Great. Read. I'll read it. I'm not sure it applies to this Graciela, but so Graciela prepared this statement. So I'm a, I am aware that the Department of Housing and Community Development can provide special funding to housing authorities to install specialized equipment in handicapped apartments to meet the needs of that resident, such as easy to open and close faucets, countertops, door stops, specialized door handles. Does the Arlington Housing Authority currently receive funding from CCHD? If so, is the money being used for these devices? If they are not receiving this funding, is the housing authority interested in the resource? All right, this this is really a question for next week's meeting. So next week here is a is our regular monthly meeting. So this this is not applicable to the section eight plan. Oh, so okay. or, or, the, or the annual five year, but but definitely for next yeah. next week. So I keep it. Yeah, why don't you keep it and we'll put it on you can present All it next right. week. Because um, yeah, because there's answers for it. Yeah, absolutely. But right. we'll do it next week. Okay. Yes, Joanne. Um, I just I thought that what happens with a five year plan is that we take suggestions and maybe that could be one of the suggestions for the five year plan which gets written into it and then we make a written response. Is yeah, right? I'm okay with that too. Sure, yeah. I'm okay with it. We can yeah. hear the back here. Yes, yes. <clears throat> what I suggested is this is appropriate for the seven o'clock hearing on the five-year plan because the five-year plan is a hearing we take suggestions uh, all sorts comments from you it gets written into the plan and our response as the housing authority is also written into the plan do I have that correct yes. yeah I can take that I can take that comment into consideration 
Yes. And um, there are, you know, that, that'll be more for the seven o'clock meeting yeah. when we can look into some of the different, um, yes. you know, updates that we're already doing and some of the other ADA compliance related things that we're looking into. And that can be uh, added as something that we'll consider. But I, I think, Graciela, the point I want to make with you is don't ever hesitate to bring that up at a regular meeting because if there's a situation where somebody needs some type of an accommodation, you know, we can do those things without having to put it in the plan. Uh, you know, yeah. We can have our staff no, fix those things. Yeah. So if there's somebody with a, a need that we don't know of, we can we can do that anyways. But oh, uh, but Jack, like Jack said, we can put, we can put that into the right. five year plan. But any comments on the section eight? Yes. Would you like me to speak from here, or what's the? No, easiest? that's cool. Just give us your name. Great. So I'm Elizabeth Dre. Um, and these are uh, comments that I also emailed to the board. Um, but I, also, yeah, yeah. You did, yeah. so I just want to publicly also um, address the public. And I have not seen the updated, um, so it could be that these are in there, and I just I, you can just let me know that they're there. So I did ask for the following request to be considered for the Section 8 uh, plan to adopt the small market, the, the small area market <coughs> formula to their payment standards, which would raise the payment to reflect the actual rental costs of Arlington. As you're aware, this is a relatively easy way to expand access to the private rental market for Section 8 voucher holders here in Arlington. Currently, the Arlington Housing Authority uses the payment standards released by HUD for the entire metro area, instead of focus focusing on communities with much higher AMI rates such as Arlington. The result is that the rate is set too low for anyone to find a safe and sanitary place to rent in Arlington. Adopting the small area fair market rate formula was in the actual recommendations of the town's recently released fair housing report, and it would allow residents and their families to stay in their home communities where they have established roots and relationships. My second uh, request was to opt into the HUD home buying program in town so that Section 8 tenants could use their vouchers to help buy a home and allow them to develop equity through home ownership. Thank you. Thank you. And we did, uh, I think I even looked you back. So Jack is going to look into both of those items. Yep, absolutely. Can I say something? Yep. As far as the first question you had, the Housing Authority is allowed to go up to 110% of the fair market rent, actually up to 120% of the fair market rent. Anything over 120% of the fair market rent, we must get okay by HUD. But there is availability up, out there that we can go higher if we need be. But I have not seen the need for it personally, working uh, with the Section 8 tenants in Arlington. Thank you for the clarification. Sorry? Thank you for the clarification. You're welcome. Thank you, Patty. Any other comments? Yeah. Can you put that in simple words? Patty, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, could you explain? We, have, we, we receive payment standard of uh, fair market rents from right from HUD for our area. And we are part of the Boston Metro, Metro Boston, Quincy, Cambridge area. And it's Oh, about four different counties, um, Middlesex County, Essex County, Plymouth County, and uh, one more. So it's quite a few different housing authorities, uh, towns in this area that the Arlington Housing Authority has adopted years ago for us to use the same payment standard in those particular areas. Otherwise, it was taking time from the workers in the office to seek payment standards from each and every single town for their payment standards. A lot of times the, the uh, other housing authorities were too busy, we just couldn't get a hold of them, they don't have accessible access to their units of, of payment standards, so we adopted this, I don't even know how long ago, maybe 10 years ago, that we would just do the metro area, our area. So, but we can, if we're at 100% of the fair market rent, 100% across the board, except for four or five bedrooms, but we can take it up to 110% if it's reasonable, if it's 
it, you, everything has to coincide if the if the tenants income coincides every if everything falls into place and it is reasonable that they are allowed to go up to 110 percent with no question yep. uh, I think this is a very interesting and maybe productive suggestion by Elizabeth I think what the response was I think we have to look at what is the difference between what we're doing now and what this other program would offer people would there be uh, as you suggest would there actually be a need for it are people looking for this are there more places that are available and um, I'd like to I like to do a little research so I think that it would be important and I think Jack has said that's what he would do some research and look at what's happened when other housing authorities have adopted what is it called the small um, market rent um, has it made um, a real difference for people being able to find apartments right now it's very hard for anybody to find an apartment which is I think a real tragedy so we want people who have Section 8 to be able to do so. But I, I, I would take that suggestion as the reason that we should do some research on this. Uh, Patty, do you know the 100% uh, factor? What is the, what is the rate? Sorry? Um, well, a one bedroom is 1924. A one bedroom, that's the rate, uh, 1924? 1924 in the town of Arlington and the surrounding towns that we go with. That's How about that's, that's, that's with, that's that's with all utilities included. That's the voucher. Is that a one bedroom? One bedroom. Yeah. Two bedrooms, 23, I think. 23. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Is that uh, going to increase the rent uh, for residents that are already here? No, no. This has got nothing to do with you folks. Okay. These are Section 8. These are Section 8 vouchers. These are folks that live in different rented apartments, rented apartments throughout Various towns, cities, and towns. Not not anybody lives in Drake. Yeah, we no, have okay. nothing to do with Drake. We manage our own. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. 411. 411. 411. 422. 422, section 8. Oh, right. and the I vouchers. just gave out 20 vouchers, and I've already got three people moving in Arlington. Uh, so that's really quick. I just one gave them out last week. One yeah. bedroom, 19. Yeah. What's the average rent? 2,000 for one bedroom. One so bedroom. it is a little bit high, but. Once they, what, they don't have a problem once they know the particular places to go to. Sure, yeah. You know, the high rises and whatnot, uh, all the big companies yeah. will know the Section 8, they know the, they know the vouchers and. Uh, and I, I agree with Joanne, I think that's a good recommendation. Where are you? I <laughs> know. <laughs> just to see where we're at, you know, how we measure up. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone understands what Section 8 is. And Please correct me if I don't know. Okay. Uh, Section 8 is a program, unfortunately, there's a very long waiting list, I think, if any of you have tried to apply. But we're hoping that the federal government will have many more spots than they do now. But what it means is if you get accepted in terms of your income and other situations to Section 8, that you pay 30% of your income? 32, 40%. 32, 40% 40 of your income. Monthly adjusted income. For the rent. And the federal government covers the rest. And if, as Elizabeth was suggesting, the rent is very high, you still pay only 30, 40% of your income. And the federal government will pay more. If in fact, this method allows for, um, is adopted and will allow, then the federal government will pay more of it. No matter if it's by zip code, I believe it's by zip code, right? But at the moment, we have to make sure that that's a program which would be good for Arlington residents or anyone actually gets, who wants to move to Arlington has Section 8. Would it really help them to have this program? Did you say we're at 100%? 100% right now, Yes. Okay. Great. All right, any other, any other questions on that? Uh, civil rights certification uh, has not changed. It would just 
that. Did you print it? Out? I printed. I gave. I gave a copy to Brian, okay. so I just signed it for him. Okay. Any comments on that? No. It's the same. Uh, it has to be submitted. To do we need to vote this? Yeah. So we need to. We need a, a motion to accept the goals and objectives as well as the civil rights. That's correct. Yep. Yeah, I, I would make a motion to accept the, the housing choice voucher uh, goals and objectives for 2021. Yep. And civil rights. And civil rights. Certification. Yes. Certification. Yes. Yes. Second. Did you get that, Sammy? Yes. Um, Second. Okay, a, a roll call. Gar? Yes. Uh, Brian? Yes. Nick? Yes. Duan? Yes. And Fiorella? Yes. Great. That's unanimous. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I would make that motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Housing Authority, a State Annual Plan Public Hearing. Uh, roll call, Gar. Gar's here. Brian's here. Nick? There. Uh, uh, Joanne? Here. Fiorella? Here. And we're going to reverse this again. So let's have Jack um, ch chat about the plan first, and then we'll look for public comment. So uh, just to, to go over again, or to go over, the annual plan is intended to provide insight to the Housing Authority's operations and plans for the coming fiscal year as they affect the authorities state aided public housing. The proposed annual plan is comprised of the following elements. Proposed capital improvement plan for the next five years. Proposed maintenance and repair plan, also known as PMR. Current operating budget, responses to the, to the PMR findings, list of housing authority policies, list of waivers from governing regulations of the Department of Housing and Community Development, and other elements. Um, just some quick things to touch upon is that there are some updates that are going to be made to the board members when this annual plan was put out the draft was initially put out it was prior to the election so there are some updates related to uh, the positions of the board as well as some as well as the expiration date um, in the case of that so so that's something that will be getting updated um, additionally one one major thing to mention is that the window survey has been included for 20 fy for fiscal year 2022 um, that's from an autonomy manner and at that point we should be able to have a better understanding of the cost of that project and and move forward and, and, and try to get that in the budget in the coming years uh, additionally one other thing just to address is that our our vacancy rate for chapter 200 which is family housing was three percent um, so we are working to to address that uh, part of the reason for that for that percentage was uh, was COVID-19 and some of the difficulties related to that, some of the, the shifting priorities. Um, additionally, that was some of the, the issues related to that that we're addressing is with the uh, CHAMP Common Housing Application, uh, which is the centralized wait list for the state. Um, there are some issues that we're addressing, whether it be through some of our advocacy groups with the state or on, a, on, a, on our, uh, our staff levels to try to, um, to find more efficient ways to, to, to process applications and fill these vacancies as well as to advocate hopefully to the legislature at some point uh, for the need, needed changes to make the to, to create additional efficiencies um, additionally the, as you saw on the last pages of of the annual plan there is a survey um, that survey is very important because it, it helps us to address some of the areas in which we can improve even in the areas where we may be uh, doing better than other large housing authorities in the state overall um, we can recognize that there's room for improvement and we want to try to increase those efficiencies through communication um, and that's all i have do you have any questions for jack i have a question yes gracias yes, can i get a copy of that statement what's that can i get a copy a copy of what he just said yes of the annual plan Five year, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can get you, I'll get you a copy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. You have email, Graciela, right? Okay. Email? Do you have email? Yes. Yeah, it's 97 pages. Yeah. So you can okay. email. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, hi. Good evening. How are you? Uh, my name is Marta Callarga. I live in 39 Fremont Court. My name is Motor. 
And um, I just checked in this afternoon uh, the polls, uh, sorry, it's my first time, so bear with me. The capital improvement the last year and the uh, draft plan for this year. So uh, from Arlington uh, Minority Manor, I noted three points, okay? The, I wanted to first make sure that what I see here is what I understand. So the first things I noticed is the uh, the um, let me looking for okay the minority parking lot re, uh, repavement okay I don't know if you clearly you can translate for me because I don't speak English repairment yeah repairment okay I know that we have it last year and this year okay so I want to make sure the the, the last year is already spent in that, or, or I understand wrong, and this year that's what you plan to spend in that, because in my opinion, first I didn't see nothing, you know, about the fixing the, the, the parking lot in, in where I live, and second, I think that we have better issues to spend 3,000, 56, 300, 300, 300, yes, thank you. Somebody said the number, please? 356,000 dollars. And a parking is just fixing the parking that we have. So it's not bringing more parking spots that we needed. And we can use that money for better issues. Like for example, we are extreme of weather, okay? And we can try to use the same, uh, things that we have for the heater, you know, to do a uh, air condition, okay? That is a necessity in this country when it's a training weather. We have uh, repairs in homes. Our stairs, they are not in a good shape. There are a lot of things. I live from 2009 and there, and nobody repairing nothing in my house yet. So yeah, when something broken, we call many and they come in, but they are not they're supposed to be boys that we have to use to upgrade our houses and replay our houses, and, uh, and all this year I didn't see nothing in my, in my house. Okay. Talking about that, the basic, human the basic yeah, I'm talking too much. I, 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 I no, you should okay. say the basic, basic human rights. Yeah, it's basic human rights. And if you see the, the Constitution of the United States, you write to be happy. The first thing that you learn is the, so the pursuit of the happiness is important. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the other thing, union entry hardware update. I don't know what it is, please explain me. Both year, last year and this year, we have in the budget. First, what is and what we have to spend? 49,200? Uh, 49, yes. Yeah. And something they don't know because I didn't see. Did somebody see something like that in our house? No. No. We don't, we don't know. So we have it last year and um, we see it over here in this year. The only thing that I see normal, or that we really need it in the, in the, in the budget. budget, in the draft, will be the windows. The better word is important, and we have to try to bring up, or you know, the way to 2022. We need it right now, it's coming up, well, winter, so we can try to hurry up that thing. And the other thing they call me, the attention, last year, Capital, uh, you know, the capital improvement mentioning the building that we already built in uh, the center. The light skin center. The light skin center in the boy last year. That thing that we end to co the construction years ago. What we have in the in the in the in the in the one from last year. So if somebody can explain me to I don't make a mistake and. Uh, and yeah, so let me just see if I can see if I'm on the same page here. The fact that the, the budget is forty-nine thousand two hundred for entry hardware. Yeah, right? what's that? That's I assume that's. Go ahead, Jack. Sorry. No. So so first, I'd like to thank you for your comments related to the central air. We'll we'll you know we'll, we'll record that and we'll look into that. Um, as far as the way that the funding is allocated, the way it's put in here, is we're under strict restrictions from the state. The funding they give us every year, it's called formula funding. We have, to sit, we have to spend up to at least 80% of that formula funding every year. So what ends up happening is we're forced to, um, to, cr to use certain types of projects in order that we're doing certain things, so we're using that 80%. So while I, I totally understand your, your frustration related to some of the other projects that we could do at Monotomy Manor, 
but based upon you know the amount of money that we had you know related to that fiscal year that was a project that could fit in well, so what was the project because none of our nothing has been changed for our doors so i'm just curious oh, so, so in regards to the, the doors so right so if you look at well hardware. i have the plan for me but well, one of the, one of the categories indicates amount spent prior to plan so in regards to the entry hardware update, it looks like forty-six thousand eight hundred seventy-two dollars was spent. So that's stuff that had already happened. Last year or this one? I know. When did those actually happen? Last year or, or, or this uh, plan? I would have to get back to you in order to give you a more accurate answer related to that. But it's but it is it is money that would have been spent prior to this year. Okay. Um, Last year. So it, or, or it could even be the year before too, because because what ends up happening is. Is because of that 80 percent we sometimes we have to spread projects over years in order that the funding matches up correctly okay. so that's why you'd see like under the mon monotony manner parking lot repavement like one year it says 160,000 then the next year it says 196 and that's so we're meeting our 80 percent thresholds for each of those years and sorry just uh, just let me finish yeah. my thought I'm sorry and uh and so one of the things that's that's all, that's good and also maybe frustrating as you look at it from year to year. As, as far as our annual plan is, we do have the ability to um, to have to, we do have flexibility, so that you know, say for instance, some of these projects here, like the window project, wasn't on here, or the window study wasn't on here last year, but we were able to push it up to fiscal year 22 because we're able to have that flexibility, and we have that flexibility, so we're able to prioritize. So, like for instance, you know, maybe we have. A fire alarm system that's gone down we need to that's an emergency we need to get that online you know certain things like that we're able to prioritize move them but when we do that then it potentially changes the type of uh, the project that we're going to do in a given year so maybe we were hoping to do said project in fiscal year 2023 but now it's scheduled for 26 but on the flip side then it could go the other way maybe now we have cpa funds maybe now we have cdbg funds maybe now the cost of projects is different and now we're able to push the project up to fiscal year 22. But who so, decide, who decide where to put the money? So talk in simple terms. So we, we sit down with our with our spec with the project specialists that are assigned to us from the state, and we go through and we prioritize and we try and we it's a and it's we're trying to match up again with the funds to make sure that we're we're meeting our 80% threshold, because if we don't, then that's an audit finding. Um, while also making sure that we're trying to get the right projects in at a certain time frame. So you, uh, for what I understand, the, the parking lot, the last year, the ICA here, that was already spent? Not spent. That was spent. Not yet. What? Not yet. What? So it's in, a, it's in a project. And that's why you put it twice, last year and put it this year? Because it hasn't happened yet. Okay, so that's why they are twi twice. No, it's because if, if, if you're going to spend that year and you're going to spend it again this year. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. We have to we have to, we have to reshift our, our, our um, the, we have to re we, we have to shift things. From so if we have it in the budget last year, what we didn't use it? I'd have to get back to you on that. I, I don't so know that answer off the end, so but I'd have to follow if up with you. every year we have a budget, and that was in our budget, what happened with the money? So, so what ends up happening, too, uh, is we... Go to simple you, if, words, please. If you, when you look in the, in the projects, you'll see that some have an assigned number. And so that's what we call a, a FISH number, which don't ask me what the acronym stands for. But, um, the S Y F I. It's a um, cap. Well, in here it says cap hub project number. Can so, you put it in a, in, a, in, a, in a place where we can everybody can see it? Yeah, it's it's right in the capital improvement plan, okay. it, within the annual. Plan. Last year or this year? No, no, it's, it's right here on the left on your slide. But last but, year or this year? Uh, it should be both. Okay, okay, that year. But oh. but the, but what I'm getting at is is the parking lot did not have a number yet, which meant it had moved into that that stage where we would have been assigned a designer from the state where we would have then put the project out to bid so it didn't get to that stage which is why we still have the flexibility to move it but wonderful so we can move it's, yeah it's, it's projected these are projected projects also what we can we know our programs is they are more important than the, the, the parking lot so in this meeting we can say that we don't want that money spent in that 
we want to hang all the yeah. things. You can, provide, you, can, you can provide that comment, right? Yeah. Can, can I follow? Can yes. I just ask? It, it would be what, best if it would, um, Sandy, are you able to get all this, or should she send it in writing? Yeah, it would be best if you have comments like this, send an email in writing. So, so yeah, instance, sure. Uh, we can do the, the, yeah. the, the writing, but it's more easy to understand when we are face to face right. and we s simplify the factors. But unfortunately, this is not as simple as you would like it to believe. I mean, we have to work with the state and the DCHD officials, and they work with yeah. our housing people to determine. So it's, it's not like we could say, okay, I don't want to do the parking lot today. I want to replace some of those windows. But that's what you just told so us. It's not, it's not that yeah. simple. I know it's not that simple, but that what I, 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 the first thing that I say when I, I start to talking was the please explain me because I don't want right. to be mistake things. And that's what I ask you, for example, if that money was already spent. And he said they wasn't spent. And that was the budget last year. So if that last year was in the budget and wasn't used, that means that, that money has to be there. So that is contabilities. So the money going, the the, the state or the not, government or whatever they give you some not, money. You, you gotta understand, it's not like we get the extra money. It's not necessarily there. This, this, this then where is it? It's just a plan. Yeah, you know. So it's just a plan where we're right. thinking of things that need to get fixed, things that we are looking forward to fix. You know, what I mean is, it's a plan. So we don't have the money. We don't get that until it's been it's done. The state pays. But so, these things, all that here. so these are things that we want to do, or, the, or the, our staff has identified that they should be done. So how many years are you going to have the plan? In, in so, well, so just so you just made a suggestion, though, where it's like, well, you know, we don't technically need the parking spaces fixed, but maybe we can put the money towards something else. That's a suggestion you just made, that it, this is what this meeting is for, you know? Yeah. We can discuss that and say, like, okay, you're right. Like, we don't need it for the parking spaces. Yeah. Our question Let's talk is, what about is windows. it, Kale? What, what is the parking lot? Like what, is, what is this formula funding? What can it be spent on? Can you give just a, us an idea of what the formula funding can be spent on? So there's an assessment. Yeah. So, so as far as what we can utilize formula funding for would be different types of modernization projects. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we will go over that with our specialists with the state, and then we need to select certain types of projects, whether it be, you know, like I said, modernization related to the building or the grounds. And, and then the state will approve those items. So, okay. so I, I mean, still even with this right here, we will need to go through this process, and then we'll need to go, and then the state will review it, and then potentially say, no, you that, you know, that doesn't work. Are we right. allowed to contact the state and ask and, and advocate for ourselves? But, like, if you guys are, you have the money, but it's not being spent, or can we? And you have to talk to the state. It's not like they give us I know, 20 million bucks. But it could have been spent. Through. So we work with them to identify the capital project needs. Right, but it so, could have been spent. So it's returned. And there are. Right, I, think so, that, I, so I think they don't understand anything. The money was received because you made a capital, like it was in the budget for a, capital, for a project. Did you receive the money from the state, I think, is what we would, we would not receive the until money you do the project. until, until we do the project. project. Okay, so you, did, you weren't given the 40, let's use that right. figure. We weren't, you weren't given the $49,200 because exactly. the project wasn't started. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 But, but hold on, hold on. Is, but, we, uh, right? We'll get the money, you know, through the process, but if this, you know, they need to complete the work, they need to show us that they right. complete the so work, and then we pay the bill. I think they, but I think we don't even... trying to allocate where the money, if, you bought, if the funds were given yeah. for that project, and if they were, are they still available? I think that's what, what she was going for. And, if, and not, the answer is no. Right. That's, the answer is no. It, okay. so, so, it's, that's so it isn't like we get a budget and then right. we can pick what we want to fix. You're not getting the money up front. Right. Why are these the report for? Because this, these, these are projections Proposal. of what we want to do in the future. Oh, so project, project. Right, projections. So this is the plan going forward that we're gonna, that we want to work on. Yeah. And then once we finish this, so we take your feedback. So, for instance, if you want, if what you're saying is you want all the windows in Ronald B. Manor, you know, Jack would take that and relook at this and see if he can put it in there. And if he puts it in there and it gets approved by the state, then we can proceed with that. So, the so that's decides. why the, the, like, the light center was in last year, because that was what the, the, you, you paid the But you something could be in for last year and still not get done. But, but yeah, to, to your point, 
it could it could get paid over multiple years. And then another point too is that you know some of the funding that we had hoped maybe for a project. And, and again, I'd have to look at this to, to answer your question more specifically. But you know there could be overruns. Like a project could cost more than what was projected, and then that would reduce the amount of formula funding we have available. I think a good example is the Winslow Tower windows. You know we're only doing we only have enough money to do so many today, and then so many next year. So why so have the project so almost four hundred, uh, you know, thousand dollars for for uh, for uh, you know for parking and forty thousand for windows? Well, well first of all, just you understand just the cost, the construction cost. But like the, the, the parking lot too, because they say that they are not doing it. So I mean, three hundred thousand dollars to pay the parking lot is not, you know, it's not a quarter lot of money. I mean, these things are very expensive to do. So I have a question it's about, about we'll go back to the forty nine thousand two hundred. Yeah. Is that still available to to us if, for that project, or would it have to be proposed again? It, look, it looks. Do you know like, what I mean? Like, it looks like the majority of that money's already been spent. Well, <coughs> okay. But, so, okay. but how is it spent if you didn't receive it yet for that project? Wait, so, no, so for the entry, are you talking about so the entry? Whatever that's going to be, whatever the 49 choose to do that number for uh, yeah, the door. The door locks, for example, okay? Or actually, do the parking lots, and that wasn't done yet. Whatever that figure was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever the parking lot figure was, it wasn't, it wasn't done. We know that. I, so, I, can, I can follow up with you. Okay. To, to confirm specifics, but as, but to my understanding, that was related to um, the changing over of locks. Oh, no, I, I, I'm sorry. I was trying to go with one that wasn't done, because that's what she was, you know, yeah. the parking lot wasn't done yet, obviously. Yeah. So it's in for this year. So, so um, what I think she's trying to understand is, since we now know that, you know, you don't get the funding until the project is done. Okay, perfect. So that money that was appropriated for the parking, so, if the, uh, is that still available for you to use for parking? That, that money is in our plan for right. for fiscal year 2022. Right, but they don't like retract it because you didn't do the proposal, correct? No. Because it wasn't carried through. No, the, their requirement is that we meet the 80% threshold. The budget's okay. reviewed every year. Yeah, okay, the budget's right. reviewed every year. I understand that. Right? Yeah, that I understand. So, so okay. we have but a certain amount of dollars, right, that we right. can appropriate right. to certain projects. Right. And that's what we're asking for for you guys is to give us input on what project. Right. We I made recommendations. That. We made recommendations. I'm, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I'm just trying to make yeah. it so that. Yeah. yeah. So, so let me just wrap this way. because we could go on this forever. Mm -hmm. If you you have suggestions, windows, whatever, just send Jack an email. So yeah, send yeah, him an email right. soon, so we can he can adjust the plan and. and you know, right. Absolutely, advice. that's not yeah. a problem. I'm just, I'm just right. concerned because we've been coming to you for eight months now, telling you that our windows are leaking heat, and we we've been told we're getting audits and stuff. Why wasn't that prioritized? Why were the parking lots prioritized? Bueller, anyone? <laughs> I, I mean, it, it, it's in there. It's for uh, fiscal year 22, so it's it's uh, it's, it, it's what it's 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 right up there as far as. Next projects that will be assigned a project number, and then we'll, we'll stop that process. Yeah. Jack, can I ask a question about the, the formula? Are you saying that every community every year gets a certain amount of money to spend? Correct. And are, how much are we leaving on the table? I mean, is it is it the case that if we don't have if you don't have enough projects ready to give them? Then money will be lost. So of the, that, I think that, you said 180. Well, I mean that, that's the potential, and that's why we we build the projects the way we do, so that we utilize those funds. So how much of it was used last year? I, I don't know that the answer offhand. I'd have to follow up with you. I'd like and just to like, out. I mean, yeah. if anybody can you, can you give us all the information, the what we receive and what do we spend, please? Yeah. And, and if people want, oh, sorry. Yeah. Why, why don't you email that to? Uh, uh, we, we don't leave so money on the table. Like, uh, we don't leave money on the table. So this, this I don't know what I mean. Money. Lift up money the table. I don't say nothing about that. I, what I mean is, I wanted to know how much money we can spend, how much money we have, or how much money we already use. Do we can do budgets? Uh, we can do. Uh, we can. We, we wanted to think about our future too. So we need to know what money do we have to do what. And what do we can receive or no, and how they use the money they already is ours because well, they would, send the I money would, for. I would suggest that you put together 
together an email of what you would like to have fixed. Because, you know, we ha as Jack mentioned, we have to work with the state and determine what and prioritize what needs to be done. Now, as he mentioned, windows are already in the budget or on the, on the plan in 2022. So these things are planned out, you know, five years in advance here. There's, there's a tremendous amount of things that are planned out. So, uh, but I would, you know, it's very simple. Make a list of things and send it to us so we can make sure it's in the plan and we, and we can work on it. Well, yeah. but the unfortunate thing is, you know, you, your windows are leaking. It, it's, it isn't like we can say to the state, give us a million dollars to fix the windows today. And unfortunately, they don't work that way. So uh, there's very little resource to fix something like that, uh, you know, now. It's, it's, if it's in for 2022, that's the estimated time. You know? No, but what I mean, okay, of course, we can do an email to yeah. uh, for our question, but in this moment, I, 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 I asked you for something that we really need, is how how much money uh, go in, in how much money went out, okay, something that we should know. How much money do you already use? How much money do you There are many sources of income. And for instance, rents that people pay, that they're able to pay, are part of the income that the housing authority has. We also have, don't we have a it's not an answer. Yeah, but that's that, John, we don't respect. No, it's not the problem that how much did we pay for rent, okay? We want to know how much money we can use for our grade, our community. That's fair. Well, that, yeah, that's fair. Okay. Just remember the budget is for all of Arlington housing authorities. Of course. Of course. Everybody, right. but, but, so, but in this, so mo in this it, moment, it's a, very, it, 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 it's a fair, it's a very okay. fair question, and we will get to the end. You want to know what the budget is? Yes. What we spent yes. against it last year? What's new that we're going to propose for this year or 20, 2022? You take a look at the projects. You make recommendations for your piece. But we have to. We just have to rank them and, and make sure and prioritize against the whole community. When can uh, the you get us that information? That, right? When can you get it? Because we've been at meetings. That's right. Month and month. It's in this plan. It's in this plan. Right. No, because I just okay. check it out and I ask you and say that money we didn't receive it. it. It's right? just a number that we estimate. We look at 2020. I will. I, I'll tell you. I will work with Jack to get you the information. Okay. You just so give much. me just give me a couple days. Couple more. days? Yeah. Thank oh, you. Well, 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 I mean, give me a break. Will you? Don't well, take everything well, in front of me. I mean, a couple of days. So I, I know, I understand. Us, so just give me an idea. I will. I'll give it to you by next Friday. Okay. One Thank you. Week from Friday. And we are not attacking nobody. No, we just no, want to know. Information is the basic of everything. And we have the right. So the Constitution says that we have the right to ask. So let's see your question. Thank you. You paid the hand up for a while. Go ahead. I'm Vanessa Edward Brownie Manor, and uh, I think the issue, like a lot of the issues that I'm having figuring it out is, like, and Jack, I, I apologize to you because you came in and, like, taking over somebody that like, didn't do a job for years, so there's a lot of issues that you're taking on right now, and I'm sorry to feel like we're coming at you and attacking you with all of them, but, like, kitchen ceilings leaking, floors buckling, uh, constant, like, lights leaking, water, I mean, these are things, rodents, cockroaches, bed bugs, I mean, these are things that are, are happening, I'm not making this up. My house has three out of those issues listed. Um, I'm sure you could ask every one of us, and one of us has those issues. We have maintenance that come in and chopped one of these women's um, drawers in half because they put in a stove wrong, and to make it fit their, their solution was to chop okay, the well, drawer in half. Hold on, hold on. So, this meeting is very specific. Yeah. We're just talking about this. But the, budget, my, the point is, yeah. the budget, we're trying to figure out why isn't the budget being used for things such as replacing ceilings that are leaking? It's, replacing it, There's like, money in there, and it's in it. This is. The budget is huge. You're seeing one snapshot. I'm of seeing a what plan. you're showing me. I'm but, seeing what the public but, but is seeing. If, but the budget, what you want to see is, is the entire budget, which would show you monies for maintenance and improvements. Well, I don't need to see penny by penny. Yeah. I just want to see that money is going to be invested. Well, I even it's, don't care about penny. I just want to see that money being invested on basic like structure, like the floors, the kitchen floor that's buckled, the ceilings that are leaking, yeah. which I personally know four people. I don't know anybody who do budget. They probably have the same issue. I would like to see, like, on the budget, instead of okay. almost a half a million on a parking lot, that we have no idea what that means, maybe half of that on replacing broken kitchen floors, lights that leak water. I mean, my neighbors take a shower and I have to worry that their shower water is going to leak out of my ceiling. 
Yeah, it's so, only the ILA. So, 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 let me just make a point. Yes. So, if water is leaking in your ceiling, have you reported that? Of course I yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. I had a roof in the January. Yeah, I think uh, I was mad with me and say, yeah. don't wet the floor. Yeah, she's my name. She's my name. All right, so and let's see if we can manage this report again. Exactly. Uh, yeah. let, let's have the. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I live in one of the cottages. Now, I give credit to this lady right here. She did in a couple of weeks what I've been trying to fight for a year and a half. Water running down my living room wall. But I reported it and I reported it. But it finally this week they sent someone up on the roof. So we seem to have it. We used to have an inspector came every year. Now he's gone now. Nobody comes into your apartment every year and says, what do you need? This is work and that isn't. That seems to be all gone. So like this, I send an email. Send. Now, I'm way over the email. So, let, let, me just, yeah, let me respond. Unfortunately, as we all know, for the last year and a half and longer, we've dealt with a crazy pandemic and everything has stopped. So we do have inspectors that go out, but they haven't gone out because of COVID. So, you know, well, we will get back so into that motion. So instead of us all complaining, <laughs> right. they can come in and they let will. you know well, this yes, is what's yes, needed yes, here and there. So yeah. Jack just mentioned that the cottages are on, on target to get inspected in July. Yeah, so there's a lot of catch up that the housing has to do because of COVID. But, uh, but and, you know, but I, I just want to hit it home. You, everybody has to report these things. Because, I mean, I've had a lot of phone calls from folks about issues, but they haven't reported it. So you've got to report it so it's on record. So that we as a management body, we can track it to make sure that you're getting the attention that you need. So. All right, any other comments on the plan? I, I don't really want to hear comments no, no, no. on anything other than the plan. Maybe to simplify things. So is the year-end reports available, like, for the public? The spending year-end spending reports? Or the, the full budget, is that available to us? Yes. Is that what you are sure. asking? Sure. Okay, yeah. I know. Yeah. Right. How yeah. is that available to us? So, the, 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 20, the most up to date budget is on, on the website right the full now. Budget? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I and I mean if, if I can I can post the um, other budgets as, as requested. Okay, too. but what about like the year end like this year end report from spending and the budget versus the year end report? Is that public? Is that public? No, I, is I that believe public the budget's on the website. Not the budget, though. Like, yeah. How do we end just, that? Just because, yeah, how do you end the agency? Because I think a lot of the questions that, that people have are pertaining to where the where this went, how this, what was spent on what, is per bill, like, you know, you have it per bill, so you have that broken down. Yeah. That might help alleviate yeah. a lot of questions yeah. for people. Yeah. Just a yes, fiscal year. Yeah. July to July to June. It's a. Uh, it ends September 30th. Okay. Yeah. So whenever the year. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think I want to put your mind at ease here. I'm this not is not a. Not, this is not a business. At, at September 30th or October 1st, that we all of a sudden at the end of the year with a million dollars profit. I understand. I understand. I'm trying to make yeah. it so that there's an easier. Yeah. Situation. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay. What did you want? Yeah. My name? Oh, sorry. I'm Jen Hernandez from 53 Mile Court. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to meet with you after just so that we can sure. figure out what the best way to sure. sort of present it, right? So, Got it. Yeah. And I think going forward, I just want to say in, in, that, you know, I, Jack has done a great job in, in a shop here. Yes. I think, yes. you know, I, I mean, this website has been tuned up, you know, um, a lot of I think and there's a lot of stuff overall, that's, you know, and these things, you know, this is an agency that, I mean, there's no nothing hidden here. There's no hidden agendas, there's no hidden documents. And you know he's trying to get this stuff on the website, so it, it eliminates your, your questions. Yeah, you know, I mean so I think everybody appreciates Jack. Yeah. You know, how just takes time. Very hard just takes time. Just takes time. Yeah. 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 And I think you know, getting back. I mean, I toured Chestnut with the with Ron down there. Uh, we're all touring buildings and we're looking at issues, kind of like what you mentioned in your cottage. Um, we're playing catch up. You know what I mean? Right. But we're playing catch up. But, yeah. Uh, but, but I think that would help answer some a lot of questions. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, any other questions about the plan? And I just need to respond to that. Uh, the budget has only now been on the website since Jack took over. I asked for the budget for a year. I thought I spoke to Nick about it. Yeah, okay. I spoke to Joanne about but, it. So but, it, I know that it's there now, and that's fantastic. But there has not been this transparency and accountability before and well, now. And, and there hasn't been so much interest. Well, I've asked for it several which, times. So <laughs> I'm interested. 
only since only since you've come into the ball game. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I have it and it's a public Also, the dedication of this room in honor of the daily double. Uh, so we will have uh, cake and refreshments after the meeting. The family will be here about eight o'clock. Hopefully, uh, we won't delay them, and we'll have a you know um, we'll dedicate this room and so forth. So I encourage all. It's it's really for the Drake residents. You know, it's not really we're not we're not inviting politicians or a million outsiders. This is really for the Drake folks and. Uh, we will have, when we dedicate the Life and Skills Center in the fall, we will invite politicians and, and others, okay. but this is really uh, so. All right, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.